Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I'll be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. What a promise. What a promise for God to tell you no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. In other words, uh, there will be no situation that can resist your movement when the soles of your feet start moving everywhere you go, I will give you victory and no condition and no situation can resist your movement. Now Joshua understood the depth of that promise because 40 years before then, Joshua had visited the promised land. And when they went to the promised land, they saw the people who inhabited the promised land. And there were 12 spies in all. The people were huge people. They were called the Anakim. They were giants and they inhabited the land. So the rest of the people who went with Joshua came back and said, we saw the people of the land. They were like giants and we felt like grasshoppers before them. So Joshua understood the stature of the opponents he was going to face. They dwelt in walled cities and they were huge people. And so God assures Joshua, they may be big, their walls may be high, but no one and no wall shall be able to stand against you. Uh, that is a very assuring promise from God. When we have his assurance that we can go into the world and no one, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, then we can boldly go out and do the will of God. And then he says to Joshua, as I was with Moses, so am I with you. Moses is gone, but the God of Moses is still there because no human being is uh, a monopoly of the power of God. They may not be there, but God is there. And God is telling Joshua, don't think much about Moses. He's gone, but I'm here. I'm the one who allowed him to do all those great things, and I never left with him. I am here, and I am with you. And what I did through Moses, I will do through you. Joshua will be reminded of the miracles in Egypt and all the plagues and the deliverance and the opening of the Red Sea. He will be reminded of God's appearance on Mount Sinai and remember that the same God who used Moses to do those remarkable things was with him. The good thing is, as he was with Moses, he was with Joshua. And as he was with Joshua, he is with you. Joshua is also gone, but the God of Joshua is still here. He is your God. He is my God. He is the one we trust him. He is the one we pray to. He is the one we believe in. And if he worked it with Moses and he worked with, with Joshua, then he will work it with you. He is the same God. The opponents we may face may not be like what Joshua faced uh, in Jericho with walls and with giants. You may be faced with economic problems or business problems or financial issues or health issues or marital issues. Whatever your problem is, no man and no situation will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Not because you are some special person, but because God says, as I was with Moses, so am I with me. The difference maker is Jehovah God. He makes all the difference. And if he is with you, victory is assured. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence with me in every battle. I walk in victory over every situation. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Nothing will resist the power of God upon your life. And Pastor Mesa Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you. <laughs>